two, one. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, welcome to the fun. fun. Welcome to the... Uh, uh. Welcome to Tiger Valley, Bobby Lee, Kalila, Gilbert. And we have a special guest t- tonight. Ooh. Introduce special. your friend, Kalila. Our very special guest tonight is my longtime friend from forever ago. How long Samoa. Have you She's not Samoan. She's Vietnamese. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh. You, I always thought Bobby. you were Samoan. I just met her. I thought she was Samoan. Yeah. I mean, like Mark, Mark Hunt's sister. Yeah, like a cousin or yeah, something. Like, yeah. yeah, the big thighs they gave Okay. Away. No. no. Yes, it was, because now you're thinking about it. Okay, so this yes. is my friend, Christine. Yes, okay. And she is definitely not Samoan, <laughs> although Christine, I will say. talk closer to the mic when you talk. You got to vocalize. Close. Yeah. You know, yeah. even yeah. closer. Like, Deep a little throat. louder. Yeah. Like That's yeah. perfect. Swallow it. Deep throat that fucking mic. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so that's another question. That's a good way. <laughs> good, good about the Samoan observation. Okay. <laughs> These girls, you and your sister, are very wonderfully curvy. Wide. Yeah. Are there a lot of? <laughs> no, not wide. Are there a lot of Vietnamese I would say girls thick. that are? Yeah, because she has a big ass. She has mm-hmm. thick like a thighs. Thick, thick ass ass. <laughs> thick ass ass. Yeah, it's like Damn. chunky and thick. I Double love it. Double the ass. All right. And your sister's thick ass. Do you mind? Thick, like nice. Are you mad at me? All right, well, now I'm going to tell you. She likes it. Yeah, so. Oh. But you guys are, um, what are they? <laughs> Not Samoan. <laughs> Vietnamese. <laughs> You're Vietnamese. Do you guys know a little thing about Dat Fan? You guys know him? Is, you know who that is? Is that a person? Is yeah, that it's, person? A, it's a person. Oh, you bless should, your you heart. should really know who he is. He's a leader in your community. <laughs> <laughs> and he is um, a big. She's looking it She's a big, he's a big star. Look him up and confirm this in. Yeah. So you don't know who v- that Dad Fan is? No. Okay. But I love the movies. <laughs> Platoon, love it. <laughs> That's what? very Apocalypse racist. He's an now. actor? <laughs> no. He's saying he's he's naming war movies that were based on a Vietnam yeah, war. Yeah, Good Morning Vietnam. Great movie. He was in it many times. So Christine here is what I like to consider an anomaly of an Asian. And I think that's why we've been friends for so long, because she blows my mind on a daily basis. Why? We're both crazy. Well, Whoa. beyond that, when when I first met her, she was the only I mean, let's be real. Let's not pretend and uh, and pretend like Asians aren't racist in general, because we are. We're not. I mean, we're not. I'm not. I don't think I am in my heart, but generally Asians are fucking racist, and I love how they fucking trivialize their own racism. Koreans are the mm. most racist people on earth. That's and not true. All my <laughs> Korean friends confirm this for me. That's not true. They are. Well, how racist? I love everybody. You do, maybe. <laughs> no, I not maybe for sure. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Making a general observation. Yeah. In even, fact, even within Asians, we are racist. Inter Asian. Throw me racism. a race. I'm gonna give you a ranking. Okay. One oh through ten. God. Let's start with the Vietnamese. This is not a good start. Nine out of ten. Wow. Can, yeah, wait, hold Amazing. on. Amazing. You I know say, why? Because there are rolls. When you have like an egg roll, you can see through it. <laughs> wow. You know it's what? like yeah, it's transparent. Transparency. Yeah. See, the Vietnamese are transparent. Yes. That's you clever know, shit. Do you yes. know what that's called? Rolls. Rolls. A spring roll. <laughs> a spring roll. Yes. I love it. Yes. Number two. Okay, the so movies. Great. <laughs> The movies Which are like amazing. another race. What? Which yeah, like, give me another reason. Right, uh, race. people from Thailand, Thais. An eight point five. Wow. Why? Great people. Do, Why? You, do you know that he got in trouble with the Vietnamese community? <laughs> what did you? Why do, do you have to bring that up? We have to. We have to be honest have with our guests. She is Vietnamese. Transparent, like the Vietnamese. Transparency. Yeah. What did I say? <laughs> so he had to publicly make an apology to to the Vietnamese community because he called you guys and he calls Filipinos this too. He calls us all um, jungle gooks or jungle, jungle Asians. Asians not jungle, gooks. not gooks. That's jungle saying. Asians. Jungle, that's By saying it. jungle gooks, you make it worse. <laughs> he said jungle yeah. Asians. But how do you, how do you justify that? What, what well, because makes... you guys live in the fucking jungle. What do you mean? <laughs> how do I justify it? We don't live in the jungle. All right. So if I go to <laughs> Vietnam, is there a jungle there? There is a jungle. There's a jungle in plenty of other countries. There's not a jungle in Korea. <laughs> what? I'm sure you guys have rainforests. No, we so- don't at all. It's trees. <laughs> like it looks like uh, Denver. <laughs> You're trying to say Korea is Denver. Yeah, it's Denver, Colorado of Asia. Okay, <laughs> so that's number one. All I'm saying, and it's not a racist thing, is is that you have a group of Asians. We're all equal, but you guys happen to be. Living, in, it's like calling Eskimos snow Asians. That's what they are. Is that offensive? 
Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. If I was asked, I could I could be offended by that. A snow Asian. But what you could I mean, be offended by everything. Let me see. If yeah, your house true. is made out of fucking <laughs> snow cubes, <laughs> you're a snow Asian. I mean, but snow isn't offensive, so I mean... Jungle isn't offensive either. But you know, you right now, her boyfriend is um, an Indian guy. Do you know what he calls them? Oh, man. Oh, God. Don't even say it right now. <laughs> if you say this right now... Can you clip it out, whatever you say? No. 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 We've said it in previous podcasts. It's not a secret. But he has names for all types of Asians. Yeah, but it's not because I'm racist, because I'm a comedian. Yeah. Right. And as comedians, we say things that aren't necessarily PC... And we do it in jest as a joke, but I'm not racist. Mm. You know why? Because I just did a video <laughs> with Will I Am's. Wow. Will I, Will I Am? Yeah. Yeah. Will I Am. Will I Am. Now, if you guys don't know this, uh, my neighbor is a guy named Prince Board. He produces the Black Eyed Peas sometimes. Yeah. You know I mean, he works for really close with the Will I Am's. And with CeeLo Green, right? Yeah. And I went to Will I Am's studio <laughs> Will right I before am. this, and I did a. Um, a video for Black Lives Matters. <laughs> okay. And I, I had to pull out a little thing, like a little poster, mm -hmm. and it has a question mark, you know what I mean? And I had to pretend I was sad, which I am, super sad. Yeah. And Mary I. Blige is in it. Mary J. Blige? That's what I said. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> Who um, else? Who else is in it? A bunch of other people. And um, I, I feel fortunate by being there, for, for being there. Good. And I, I really believe that we need to change. A lot of uh, things that are happening in the world is, um, especially in this country, is backwards and prehistoric, and we need to change all that. And also, FYI, anyone listening, the cop that shot Philandro Castillo, Fil Philando Castillo. Philando Castillo was an Asian. He was Filipino, wasn't he? No, he, he wasn't. Was he really? No, he's Mexican. Oh, thank oh, God. Why did you say Asian? Because, because in the video, if you watch the whole video of his girlfriend talking, mm -hmm. she says she describes the cop as Chinese. So yeah, when that so, happened, Bobby and I looked at each other like, oh, fuck, yeah. we done did it now. Yeah, we done did it. Yeah. That, let me say something. Just as a fact, as, as inf true information, he was Mexican. <laughs> Thank God. What a relief. It's a relief. <laughs> yeah. well, For my people, I would have felt really bad if he was Filipino. <laughs> Although I looked at his pictures... Geronimo Yanez, and he did for a moment, like he did look Filipino to me. And I was really I wanted worried. him to be Filipino. You want, because I, cause I well, wanted I him want to be Korean that, so I could prove your happen. Korean's racism. Yeah, but we, it wasn't, first of all, a Korean would never do that. Okay. We There's would, an, an, we, another, we another would never be a cop. <laughs> A lot Wait, of so Korean Korea cops. No cops. I know. I know a couple of Korean cops, and they're very good. Yeah. <laughs> they're very, yeah. From the movies? No, not in the movies. Oh. In real life, they're very good cops. Mm -hmm. And if you're any kind of cop, and you pull over any African American, just know that we're watching. We are watching through um, video <laughs> testimony. Okay. We are watching with our eyeballs. Yes. And uh, behave yourself. Because you're slaughtering a group of people. And what happened in Dallas, crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> so that's that. I mean, I'm not, this is a comedy podcast, and I, I try not to talk about, you know, w real things, but this is out of control. Because with, like, Eric Cantor, what happened in Jersey, with uh, Trayvon Martin and all these things, it's now, come on, man. I mean, it, it's so sad that it's had to come to this, that we had to wait this long. 2017 what, almost, for man. For all this video to, to come out, for, for us to finally believe that this was happening. Look, if a particular race of people are crying foul for this long, I think we ought to stop and listen. It's not that hard. And people are just so resistant to the idea that bad things could be happening to such a large group of people. But guess what? We're not in their shoes. We live I mean, very... how did this even happen with the Philando Castile? Okay, I'm the guy in the car. I'm mm -hmm. Philandro. Mm -hmm. You're the cop. So no, <laughs> yes. I have to role play. This? Yeah, yeah. No, I want to know how it would happen. It doesn't make any sense. It how doesn't it make would any happen. sense. That's why I was I'm gonna just tell. I'm gonna show you what. I'm gonna tell you what happened. Okay. He gets pulled over. These yeah. two people because this cop tail, tail light. Yeah. No dispatch to the dispatch. Dispatch. Yeah, 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 right. What was it then? 
No, it's like there's a dispatch. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, and you go yeah, 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 like you know. So tell me I'm what ask, you. I'm asking. No, that's not what you did. I just said yeah. No, dispatch. you you do. Oh shit. my god. This, no, this is what you do. You say yeah, 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 as if you know information, but you really don't because you're a fucking retard. Wow. Jesus, you're so word. angry. I'm so angry right now. That, I'm so sorry because word. I'm I'm sorry. If you're retarded. A little emotional. Um, dispatch. Little, um, said. The transcript basically shows that this guy pulled him over because he said they looked like um, people who had just committed a robbery. Yeah. And then. Oh. With a child in the back seat? With a four year old in the I back seat. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And he said they were wide nosed. Yeah. He's like, which oh, I don't even know what the fuck that means. That was actually said. Yeah. yeah. Because let me tell you, have you ever seen her yeah, fucking nose? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little wide. Me it's too. Not wide. I'm wide. Yeah, yours is wide. Mm -hmm. Mine's kind of wide. Uh, I have a very Armenian nose. <laughs> She's Game winking. over. <laughs> You're very pointy. Point. But anyway, so he pulls him over, and and um, Philando said, "I'll give you my information, but I also to let you know I have I am a card carrying gun owner." And then pop, 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 pop. Yeah. Yeah, and even Crazy. if it, I, for me, even if it wasn't, let's say, um. Let's give this guy the benefit of the doubt, right? Let's just say he that he wasn't it wasn't racially motivated. Let's it's, say I don't that. think it is. If my my you know I have family in law enforcement, right? And they all agree if this is a guy who, on first instinct of pulling someone over for a broken taillight, a first instinct is to draw his weapon and shoot four times at a man with a child in the back. He should never have gotten to law, law enforcement. That's I don't, exactly what I was gonna say. It's just he doesn't have even the basic level of you know self control to have a regular you know uh, stop for instance the person who said this the cop who told me this he's been a man a big black guy snuck behind him with an assault rifle he didn't shoot his weapon you know he was able to de-escalate a situation he pulled over um, um, some gangsters the other day and as the guy was pulling, um, as the guy opened his glove compartment, there was a weapon there. He didn't pull out his weapon. You know, he called for backup. He does. There's protocol for these type of things. His first instinct isn't to draw his, you know, to, to, to pull his weapon out and shoot the guy five times. Like, and I think that what he thinks is just if you're that type of person who hasn't been trained to control yourself in a situation like that, you shouldn't be having a weapon or shouldn't be working for law enforcement, period. Yeah, and I apologize for, for calling you a retard. Accepted. I feel so bad about it, and I don't feel that way about you. Thank you. You're just ignorant. <laughs> Thank you. Can we get to knowing who this girl in front of us is? Yeah, but we, there, was a, there was a couple of things that we needed to talk about, like mm -hmm. black people dying in this country, but now we can move on to your friend now, mm -hmm. sweetie. Yeah. And so Christine is Vietnamese. You guys grew up together. No, you guys met in school, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. What school? Nursing? Uh, well, we were both bio biology but, majors. Yeah. What college? Las Vegas. And we were no. in Long Beach. Long Beach, Long Beach City. Uh, Community college. I went. I went we still Community college. I just want to throw that out there. No, then I ended up transferring <laughs> to. <laughs> yeah, community college. It's a little above Devry, but not Harvard. <laughs> just generic. Yeah, yeah. Community college. Just, just community college. But she's a doctor now. I know, and congratulations. But Thank she you. did go to community college. And I just want to throw that out there. And there's nothing wrong with there's that. There's really nothing if you're poor and you didn't do well in high school. There's nothing <laughs> wrong. <laughs> yeah. You smoked pot in high school, decided not to study, and then now you're, it's your second chance. I will say this about me and what? Christine. What was that? Uh, we were very, very <laughs> shitty students, I think. Uh, yes. All the class. I mean, when, when there was a corner to cut, we cut it. Yes. Sometimes, in community uh, college? even if there wasn't a corner to cut, we made one yeah. to cut. Right. It was, um, I wasn't always a good student either, but somehow we managed, you know, now she's a doctor. You, you're, so you went to medical school. So what happened? So you went through community college, mm -hmm. then you got accepted to where? A pharmacy school. Pharmacy school. Mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. What's it called? <laughs> what does it, what matter? Does it matter? We're not going to information. Come on. She's all right. I just want to know the facts. That's all. Yeah. It's an accredited pharmacy. School. It's credited. Yes. yes. Like if I Googled pharmacy, sc yeah. pharmacy school, it'll come up top hundred. Yeah. yeah. Your pharmacy school would be in the top hundred. Yeah, it's in New York. Is it in the Ooh. top hundred? Yes. Okay. Well, then that's all I want to know is information. <laughs> he, likes right? number, he likes number. So you went to you went to the pharmacy school. <laughs> mm -hmm. How long did that take you? Four years. Could you get me Vicodin? <laughs> that was the with a legitimate prescription. No, yes. no. It, let's just suppose. Let me real be real. 
All right. I'm sober. I don't need Vicodin. Okay. But if we were friends and I wasn't sober, I say, hey, Christine, can you get me some Vicodin? Can you get me some? No. Wow. You could, you had no access. She to could it. lose her license for I know. that. What are you trying to do? It was a like test. for instance, it was a the test. doctor who provided Prince with that um, fentanyl. Yeah. He he could face charges. Why? Because he's not prescribing it. I mean, fentanyl is one of those really strong drugs that you give to put patients under anesthesia. It's not even something you start off with if you're in pain. Yeah. You would start off with something lower. Like, fentanyl uh, is I'm so much stronger than sorry, heroin. Sorry, but um. It's fucking Prince. <laughs> now, would you have written a prescription if, for Prince? If I was a doctor and Prince said, uh, yeah. hey, can you get me heroin? I'd be like, you're Prince? <laughs> and I'm going to get you fucking heroin. <laughs> All right. Michael Jackson, he died from what? That What's that drug called? Propofol. Propofol. Yeah. Propofol. Right? Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> doctor? Hee <laughs> hee. Can you get me pop 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 Right? Doctor's like, is this Michael? Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. <laughs> Coming right up. In fact, I'll hand deliver it. He drives 100 miles around to get to his uh, Never Never Lands and rings the doorbell. Bing bong. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you, doctor. You would have been one of those parents that allowed your kid into his, in his bed. <laughs> it's Michael Jackson. So you would offer up your <laughs> child. <laughs> Bob. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Can, can can your five year old son sleep on the bed with me? I'll go. He he. Yes. <laughs> You're Michael Jackson. He he. You would offer up your son. I don't give a bite him, like he <laughs> did the other kids. I don't give a fuck. Bite his thigh. It's Michael Jackson. You know what, you guys? You have no respect for like a list talent. <laughs> What's the world coming to? Bite my son's thigh. <laughs> yeah, bite it. I don't give a fuck. You're Michael Jackson. <laughs> Are you the Michael Jackson that recorded Thriller and Off the Wall? Hee <laughs> hee, yeah. Then, yeah, hee <laughs> hee. Jesus Christ, sweetie. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. Oh, man. If so you're... you think celebrities always just get a free pass no, alive? No, I don't. Dustin Diamond, no Well, you free... said the other <laughs> zero day. Pass. Dustin Diamond, <laughs> zero Dustin pass. Diamond, hey, man, uh, can you son... No. He's Why? Screech. Because you're Screech. <laughs> You don't get to bite my son's thigh. <laughs> but Michael <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Give me a star. I'll tell you who, I'll tell you what star get to bite gets to bite my fucking son. Uh, right. Denzel Washington. Yes. yes. <laughs> Nick Clyde Cannon. Cannon. Yeah. No. 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 I thought about He's it. He's a no. host on America's Got yeah. Talent. Not big enough. No. Go ahead. Howie Mandel. Yeah. Oh, why? Cuz he's a friend. friend. He's oh, a friend. Yeah. Friend. Mm. Uh who, who do you got? Um, Condoleezza Rice. <laughs> yes. Mm. There you go. Mm. For sure. Yes. Angela Merkel. I don't know who that is. No. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Yeah. Angela Merkel. How about, oh, okay. Um, uh, the Harry Potter lady. J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling. Yes. For sure. She's one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And write a little book about it too. Yeah. I bit his thigh. <laughs> yeah. Poppy Lee's son's thigh. Would you but offer anyway. up your kid to a celebrity's bed, Christine? No. <laughs> yeah, the you truth, wouldn't. The truth be, you wouldn't. No, Bobby would offer his child up to my. I Jackson. wouldn't offer it. I mean, you guys well, are fucking going crazy. Bobby the now. other day told me that he would let Elton John like butt fuck him as long as the worst thing he would get is like a rash. A if rash. Elton John. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Literally, if I went to Vegas uh -huh. and I saw a show and Elton goes, hey, you want to come up to my penthouse? I'd be like, okay. I'd whisper it because I want no one to hear it. If I went to this penthouse and there's a probably a grand piano in this penthouse, of course, yeah. I'd have him sing me a little tune, and while he's in the tune, I'd, I'd be like kind of leaning against the piano, going, "Oh, that's a nice one," and then he, if he got up and pulled his pants out, and he bent me over the, the piano, I would allow it, <laughs> and he would nut inside me. I would allow it. You cream pie your butt? Yeah, he'd cream my pie my butt, right? S someone please animate this. <laughs> cream pie my butt, <laughs> and then I would look at him and go. You're not going to tell nobody about this? He goes, okay, I won't. Do I have AIDS? No. That's it. End of story. Oh, wow. And just walk away. I'd walk away. Wow. And I would giggle all the way down in the elevator from his penthouse. And I would, like, tell everyone I knew. <laughs> Elton John fucked me in the asshole. Hey, Bobby, what would you do this weekend, man? Oh, I went to Vegas, and I saw oh, Elton cool. John. He fucked me in the asshole. Whoa, bro. You'd be that proud of it? Yeah. 
That's awesome. How weird is that? <laughs> it's First weird. of all, he's 80. Yeah. Right? So who knows how he got it up. Mm-hmm. Number two, I'm not gay. It's actually a pretty crazy story. Yeah, so it's crazy. Yeah, I would let him. David Duchovny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tom Hardy. Thornburg. Tony Thornburg, for mm-hmm. sure. Tony Thornburg is like a half Swedish, half like Japanese model that Bobby stalks his Are you, Instagram all day. Christine, you've never had a lesbian experience? <laughs> From Elton John. Well, actually, no. no. no, no I had a story to tell. She's lying right now. I know she Because is. what happened was. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Thank you, Kalai. She's lying because it was me. Whoa. I thought it would be awkward. Whoa. I thought it would be awkward to wait, say wait, this. Wait, 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 wait. You had lesbo with the no, fucking n- Samoan? No. <laughs> The tan Vietnamese. Yeah. <laughs> no, we were in Spain one time, and then um, we were at the beach with some like young British boy, wow. and we just three weighed, and that was it. That wait, wait, details. Wait, 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 wait,
Mm. It wasn't shit. Anticlimactic. It was yeah. underwhelming. Just the main card. Yeah. Main it card. was You watch UFC, boring. Right, I missed that one. Yeah. It was boring. It I'm going to tell boring. you something that was great. The two f- nights before that. The Eddie Alvarez, Dos, San- Dos, Dos Anjos, Anjos fight. Oh, amazing. Wonderful. wonderful. Young Chechek, Gedalia fight. Fucking amazing. Say a couple words on that. That's Yeah, so what I'm saying is is that if UFC 200 was the Eddie Alvarez, the Yun Chechek one, and also I like the Nunez Tate one. Oh, very good. If that was UFC 200, sign me up. You're That's in. a great show. But it's like if John Jones fails a, a PDA, what's it called? A PDA? PED. PED test, and he can't fight, then Daniel Cormier, I'm sorry, you need the money. But step back. We're gonna get you know that we don't need to see this. Mm-hmm. We don't need to see an old Anderson Silva without a training camp to go in and get his ass beaten out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? This is a legend. It's awful. It was hard to watch. Yeah. Very hard to watch. Yeah. And um, Brock all Lesnar. the other yeah. un- un- unmemorable. Yeah. Terrible. I like the Cain Velasquez fight. That was that, that was, was good, okay. That was, yeah, that was a good one. Do Hu Choi Superboy? Oh, Korean. Yeah, Superboy. but that wasn't that wasn't that no. night. That wasn't that night. It was. It was the Gedalia Jian Chai Chai night. Tough oh, you're finale. talking about the tough mm-hmm. finale. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that main event thing. Yeah. yeah. The three days, I guess, collectively, yes. Good. But the main of the two, the Saturday night fight card was terrible. Yeah. It was boring. It wasn't worth the money. And I love the sport. I'll keep watching the sport. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying is is that think it through a bit. Yeah, Dana White, you're mad at Conor McGregor for not doing press and not doing all that. Put him on the ticket. Mm-hmm. Because that's people would want to see Nick Diaz, McGregor, Nate, too. Nate, Nate. Nate Diaz, mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. Okay? Put that on. Put the Gedalia Jincheck check because of the rivalry. And the RDA. Yeah, put yeah. some fucking good fights on. Jose Aldo kicked Frankie Edgar's ass. I like yeah, that. That was fun. You know, but other than that, it wasn't worth the money. That's fine. What am I? It's, you know, it's fights. Mm-hmm. You can't predict. You predict. Know. Mm-hmm. You know, so. But that's my thoughts on it. You know, I. Um, you guys are going to hate me right now, but I really need to go pee. Go, go pee. So, we'll keep going. Okay. Yeah. Keep going while I'm gone. Go pee. Do you have any crazy stories about Kalala while she's. No, when she's peeing, I have to say something. Oh. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> oh, God. We're just going to sit here, Kalala. Yeah, just go pee. Fine, Don't worry about it. Go to the bathroom. We're still friends, right, Bobby? Yeah, we are very friends. <laughs> okay, what now? In order for me to play fucking Destiny, <laughs> I have to watch a fucking movie and give her massages. Yeah. Okay? And the massages are, it's not fair. What is the How bed? long do What's the massages have to They're, be? She goes, that's not done. I go, let me say something right now, okay? When I'm playing video <laughs> games, I have six, five, six guys waiting for me in space. Yeah. Okay? She's like, Another 10 minutes on this thigh. The what leg. the fuck, bitch? <laughs> we have to fight fucking... Aliens. There's a war going yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> bitch. And then I got to fucking massage more fucking legs. Yeah. His big, those tall legs. Right. Those long I legs. Watch, I, you know what I did? I go, let's watch a movie tomorrow night. Last night, right? I tried to pick the most boring movie so she could fall asleep. <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah, so, yeah. so I'm laying next to her and like it's just a bunch of white people talking about like science. <laughs> And I'm, she's riveted by it. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, so it didn't work. It backfired. It backfired. And then afterwards, no, no, no. You, I didn't get my massage yet. Oh, fuck. So now I can't start. I, I started playing at 3 in the morning when I should have been still playing at new, midnight. Yeah. She's coming back. Yeah. So she's anyway, just she's coming she back. She has time. There's so time. anyway, John Jones, John Jones. John Jones. What an athlete. He shouldn't be taking PDs. Yeah. PDs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, wow. PDs, yeah. Right? yeah, I like your stance of PDs, by the way. Yeah, yeah. You're, it's you're, wrong. What did they tell you, Christine? They nothing. told me nothing. Are you threatening her? No. No. Only in the nicest way. Hey, ways. we're going to stop talking about UFC. We're going to stop talking about ourselves. We're going to start talking about um, our guest for a few seconds. Okay. Okay. Yes, please. I want to know more. Ask away. Ask away. I know everything about this girl. Well, I don't know what to yeah. ask. She's yeah. interesting. She's interesting because... <laughs> well, th- because... Because why? Why? I'm just, <laughs> why the fuck is this girl in our fucking yeah. podcast right now? Look, we talk about... <laughs> I came in here. She kept, I mean, yeah. she kept deep-throating the mic. Yeah. I don't know what she, she was... Deep-throating the, the mic. mic. It's a very specific yeah. talent yeah. that not yeah. everybody oh, can it? do. Yeah. She's yeah. ruining yeah. that chair because of the weight of her ass. <laughs> She's confusing us by yeah. pretending to be Samoan. I've always liked you, Christine. I really have. 
I really yeah. like too. You know what? You're being very quiet and shy right now, which is <laughs> totally opposite of how you are. You described you described her differently to me. Well, when you met her, how was she? Oh, very loud. She's funny, rambunctious. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone kind of like gets a little bit shy. That's in front natural. Of yeah, That's it's natural. normal. Yeah, because but she, you know what? It is? I'll tell you why. Because she's editing. She's editing, mm. and it's okay. You have a job. to No, keep. it's not okay. <laughs> then grill her. Well, she won't tell me about where she went to college. That's a big one. Right. That's a big one to me. We already, right. No, it's college. Spe- oh, no. okay, okay, okay. Specifics. Yeah. Okay, here. Yeah. The reason I thought that she was a good match for the podcast is because we talk about race often here. Yeah. And but we, she's being know, PC about it. It's okay. She won't be PC in a second. Not if you grill her. Just push her up. <laughs> oh, oh, sweet. Look, like, what, I don't oh, even know how to start. Like, well, okay, you have to start. For example, <laughs> the reason I always found her interesting is because she was number one. She's a she's a Vietnamese girl, right? I love it. Yeah, but great. All the men that she's dated have always been outside her race. She's always dated black guys. There we go. Indian. Yeah, there we are. Just about every other color in the rainbow. I've had a Vietnamese guy. Filipino. Filipino, yeah. yeah. You've never... Why haven't you dated a, a Filipi- Vietnamese girl guy? I have dated a Vietnamese guy. He was just fucking nuts. You, But you sucked his dick? Possibly. No, no. See, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yes. Of course. There. There, it's there a we go. There we go. Now let's we're starting. Start, <laughs> let's start here. <laughs> start with the we don't do possibly, dick. maybe. We say yes or no. Yes. Okay. I can't plead the Did fifth you suck his dick? <laughs> yes. Okay. What did it taste like? <laughs> <laughs> like any normal penis. I, mean, I don't think so. <laughs> what do you think it tastes what is, like? I don't think so. Bobby knows about Vietnamese. I think there's a little bit of mint flavor in there. Like <laughs> the fucking egg rolls. They love mint. They love the fucking lemon They love mint and love grass. Fish sauce. <laughs> so that's number one. You know that's what they taste like. Yeah, a little lemongrass. Okay, maybe curry. His pubic hair is straight. <laughs> he had no pubic hair. Oh, yes. I don't. I don't like that. I love it. Sometimes guys do that. It makes I it look a little hate bit bigger. That. Why? Number one, I already know you're insecure and you're cheating because you want your dick to look bigger. bigger so yes. that's why you shave that shit down. It's not for my comfort. Because guess what? When it grows back, it itches it me. Burns. Yes, like- it burns. I've been shaving since I was a kid, and it doesn't burn anymore. It oh. doesn't no, burn you, it burns me yeah. when the stubble goes oh. against me. Oh, that's what I'm, oh, 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 oh. I thought you were talking about my own. Oh, shit. I read that wrong. How foolish. I don't burn anymore. Sorry for burning. I don't give a fuck if you burn. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. just, it, think about it as like just the scruff on a man's So face. what are you talking about? She's dated a Vietnamese guy. My favorite race. Mm-hmm. Or does it even? You know, I don't have a favorite. Yeah. I just... What's the most delicious? It doesn't go. <laughs> no, I'm trying, trying to say something. It would have to be Indian. Ooh. Yes. I have a thing for the brown skin and the scruff. Now, is that something mm. that only happened when you moved to New York? Uh, sir, I, I think so hand. because. Go ahead. Yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear you correctly. Say it again. Which Which part? The Indian, the fl- the flavor, all that. You like that? I I I like the brown skin. I love the scruff. Mm-hmm. Looks good. Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I feel the Indian men here in LA are very different yeah, than the Indian men true. in New York. I didn't date Indian men on the West Coast when I was living on the West Coast. When I moved east to New York City, they were I feel more open minded. Can we and explain attractive. the difference? Yes, the difference. that's true. They were there was something they had more swag yeah. about them. It was had, it was New York City water. Like I'm in love with that um that Indian guy and Nurse Jackie. He's like this tall, super, super hot Indian guy. Um, but you're right about the L.A. Indians. Yeah, they're being, a little more. Yeah. Stuck up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. They don't outside there. Outside of there. Circle. How does that work? Okay, so you're dating an Indian guy <coughs> now. You've been dating him for a couple of years. What did, does his family, is his family inclusive? Are they happy? Or do they care that he's dating outside of his race? Um, I think... I think in the beginning they were a little bit like resistant. I'm not Indian. Yeah. Um, I think they I think they love me now. Mm-hmm. But um I'm did pretty have, sure in the beginning they were did hoping they have those that funny I would accents. No, his, so his family's actually um from Guyana. <laughs> do, do They're the Guyanese accent. Indian. Oh, okay, yeah. So they have more of a Caribbean accent than they do an Indian accent. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, the cool one. Yeah. yeah. What about your family? What about your dad and mom? Um, what are they thought their thoughts about you dating outside of your race? Do they want you to be with a Vietnamese guy? You know, I I always grew up thinking that that's what they wanted. You know, someone that was Vietnamese, Republican, military, conservative, all that stuff, and that that was the one Vietnamese guy I, that I dated, and mm. never ever again because so crazy. But um, I when I 
tried to actually, you know, walk my dad through it. And, yeah, I'm dating someone. He was like, you know what? You know, you're about to finish school. Never been to prison. Never been pregnant. Never been arrested. Whoever it is you choose to be with, mm. as long as they love you, it's fine. Oh, great parenting. I was like, you couldn't have told me this at 16. I was <laughs> in fear of my life it's, to bring anybody I, home. You know what's yeah. funny? Immigrant parents, mm-hmm. they change through time. My parents were like, if you don't date, you know, or marry Korean, don't ever bring mm. a house, right? Mm. And and that's, like, that's the general like right. feeling I got from my dad. But like, then in the 20s, they're like, I'm so glad you're not gay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How did they react when you brought your first white girl? Oh, they were like happy. They literally thought they were just happy because I tell them like I told them about how I've had gay experiences, uh-huh. and it fucks. It just boggles their mind. Mm. Yeah, how do you say I suck my friend Gary's penis? Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 you I, told your parents? Yeah, yeah. Why are you, te- <laughs> why are you telling me? I don't want to know. You know what I mean? But I want to tell them everything. Yeah, yeah. I told them about the machete and the and the thing. Yeah. Wow. I tell them everything. But over the time, they've um, they just are they they're, they're, and number one, they're happy that I have a path, mm-hmm. like you. You went to a pharmacy school, and you have a direction, mm-hmm. and so they're and they also know your heart, mm-hmm. and they know that you're probably a really good person. Probably. No, they do. <laughs> and they love you. So um, so they changed. But before they were conservative. They still are. You're, you're, yeah. Why are Vietnamese people in general a Republican, right? And why is that? Yeah, why? It's very um, confusing. I don't know. I think it's just a lot of the the uh, like uh, principles, that the, the values that they have. You know, you work hard. You you get what you, you know. You don't take handouts from the government. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever it is you have, you work hard for it. Yeah. I think it's just generally like that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Does it have anything to do with the sentiment during like the mm-hmm. Vietnam War? Or like um, people coming. I mean, I'm not trying to speak for all like Vietnamese people, but I just think that when you're fleeing, at at least from the South, that type of um, communist socialist government that's corrupt, you're not going to look at Bernie Sanders and be like, "Yeah, man, let's bring socialism to America." When we ran away from it, yeah, you know, Mm -hmm. in Vietnam, Mm -hmm. I just don't think it's going to happen. Right. Yeah. So they didn't vote for Obama. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Christine herself is. Is that what you're saying? Mm-mm. She's having a crisis herself. Did you vote for Obama? No, no she's a Republican. <laughs> well, wait, you are. Yes. She just said Vietnamese. Well, no, no. Wait, wait. I thought her parents were. But no, she's, she's not... a Republican. What? what? Oh, <laughs> now here we go. Go, go, go. He just Bobby just body rolled. He yeah, just got excited. Say something to you right now. Why? I was actually having a conversation with Kalila in the bathroom earlier. Interesting. And uh, I was having a little bit of a identity crisis because I told her that I was, I was talking. One of my roommates is really, really like pro Hillary, pro. Mm-hmm. So I was having a conversation with him with about different things, and he was like, "Christine, I, I think you're a Democrat." Oh, hey, don't you fucking talk like that. Yeah, she's she really uh, thinks that. So I think. I was more against what like super left wing people stood for like that whole if you don't agree with me you're racist if you don't agree with me yeah the liberals are very like uh, oppressive like that yeah you can't speak your mind it's it's politically incorrect you can't say that okay give me an example of something that an ultra liberal person would say that you would be offended by or that would be offended about what you said okay um like, mm, let's say, like, free health care for everyone. Okay. I believe that, you know, whatever it is that you you earn, yeah. <clears throat> excuse me, you should be able to pay for your own health care. I don't okay. want to pay for your health care. I don't think that I, my income, that I worked hard, that yeah. I should be supplementing anyone else's health care or anything else for them. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I'm going to say this. <laughs> Can I just say this? Is is that some people were not born in the situations that we've been born in, and um, I would like to. I, you can have some of my money because I want to help you, because I've been blessed, and I I have a career that's amazing, and I have, I've had you know my parents took me to museums and shit. I mean, I was a drug addict and I was a fucked up kid, but they I had a really good upbringing, and I I I I, I was born into. I'm upper middle class home and I'm grateful for that. Mm-hmm. But it's like I believe that some people are not born in those kind of situations. They're born to a single mother. 
maybe they're born into extreme poverty and they don't have the opportunities that we ha I had. And it's like, all right, you can't afford um, medicine. You can take some of my money mm -hmm. and we'll get you medicine. I believe that every citizen in this country should get free health care. No, 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 and I because agree. Because we that, lost so that's, billions that's of your... dollars into the Iraq war. Where did that money go? Right, right. No, and I agree with you, but <clears throat> it's, it's, that's your upbringing. For me, yeah. we didn't have everything either. My parents came here as refugees mm -hmm. with uh -huh. nothing but the clothes mm -hmm. on their back, yeah. but they were able to pick themselves up on their own. That's true. And we that's... weren't on welfare. We didn't mm -hmm. get government but assistance. But did you have, a, did you have both parents? I did have both parents. Okay, you're lucky then. But my, my dad was the only one working. That's fine. You're lucky though. Because some people, some people are born into their mother being a crack addict. Mm -hmm. The father's not around. Mm -hmm. And then the mother has three kids. And this these kids are fucked. What are you going to do about them? See, I think liberalism, right? See, you know what? here's my problem with conservatism is, is that it's a selfish party. It's not utilitarian. Like it's you're not looking out for the better. It's it's you're you're looking out for yourself Self rather versus than the, than the collective. But right. there's nothing. I mean, I've been friends with you for over for for a decade now, and she is all her beliefs are completely opposite of mine, including religion. Like you believe in God, you go to church, you're a Republican. Our thoughts, our our beliefs have always been so stark and very very opposite of one another. But we've been able to stay extremely close. And I think that's a perfect example of how it doesn't always have to get in the way of, you know. Did I get too serious there? A little no. bit. I did? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, you don't have to apologize. No, I just, no, I, 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 I really, I want to understand. <laughs> I but, really do. I, no, I really want to understand. But what is your stance on other things like gay marriage? Oh, like, I'm um, pro-gay marriage. Abortions. Yeah, but those. My things, body, my right. Okay, that's okay. Okay, then you're not you're not actually fall f uh, more in the center. Than I, you I do probably the right. am not Republican anymore, but I'm in denial. I don't know why. It's just one of those things, you That's know, when you yeah. just kind of have an idea. Maybe you're a libertarian thing. like George. Yeah. George. We got another one. George just said yeah. libertarian. Yeah, George is a libertarian. He's neither he's neither here nor there. I just I don't know, man. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe we're all wrong. We can't seem to get anything right. No, I mean, what I'm saying is is that I just want you know freedom is freedom mm -hmm. right but it's like so like in terms of the social issues that republicans have i can't get on board with that no because <clears throat> all, all the so all the social issues i'm completely liberal on okay yeah but i know what you mean though about just the super left-wing liberals are a little bit much to take it's like the, you know the super the super liberals are the ones that don't allow you to do your comedy <clears throat> Those are the ones that are going to complain about, you know, you perpetuating rape culture and writing a letter to the board of the college no, that you I, perform. Uh, no. Yes, those, no, no, believe no, no. it or not, Bobby, not. liberals are actually the ones who are the PC brigade. Nope. Yes. Yeah. What? Yeah. Who, who is it then? Yeah, who what are you is talking it? about? <laughs> it's not a Republican in the PC brigade. What are you? Holy shit! Wow! Wow, baby! Wow, wow. wow man! He's Look, angry. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say crazy. this, George. Just right, the balloon. I know, but George, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this, George. Okay? He's a bone. George, oh, I love you. Went crazy, and that's fine. <laughs> that's why I love you, George. That was, George. Yeah, that was yeah. too much. That I've never much. seen a man's, a white man's face turn that red before. It was so red. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a chair. It was the chair. It was the chair. Yeah. I did a, I did this thing called the NACA conference. What it is is that you know colleges. Oh yeah, I've been to that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I did one in um, um, Idaho. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're always in a weird. Oh God, small Idaho! Place. Idaho. <laughs> and I went up on stage, and the liberal schools stayed for my show, and all the conservative schools left the room. <laughs> <laughs> they did. Yeah, they were. all the Christian Mormon schools got up from their chairs, left the place. Right, and the hippie schools, the liberal ones, stayed are more tolerant and they listen to every single one of my jokes. Yes, some of them would come up and go, I think it's a little too much, but the fucking conservative schools, they won't even listen. One fuck 
they get up from their chairs and they leave. What the fuck are you guys talking about? But those aren't the people who are going to go on the internet or write a fucking letter of complaint and talking about how what you said wasn't PC. They might not stay for it. No. But they're not the ones who are it's actually going to... the conservative get... ones that are fucking writing those. What Buddy, the fuck are you talking about? You don't spend enough time on the internet, I think. I mean, which is I probably do. a good thing. I do. <laughs> Which is probably a good thing, but I think you have it wrong there. I don't have it wrong. I think there are... I think the PC brigade comes from the ultra-liberals. I think it, it it's the fact what that everything you... you say, it's not... They want to create this unrealistic safe place for people where comedy can no longer exist because you can't talk about people with Down syndrome. You can't talk about no, rape. You can't talk about women. I just, you, got, I, just, I just had an epiphany. <laughs> I had an epiphany just now. What is it? On both sides, mm -hmm. you have groups of people on both sides that have these things. And it's not about Republican or liberal no. against conservatism. Mm -hmm. It's just people that are... Extremists. Ext not extremists even. People that are just either open-minded or they're not. Okay? Yeah. So it's not... Because let me tell you something right now. If I played anywhere in the South, in the Bible Belt, and I did my act, right... Those are the cities I don't play because those are the cities where they don't come out for me. They walk out during my show, right? And they complain to the fucking you know, club. comedy club that he's too dirty, mm -hmm. okay? It's the places like Portland, Seattle, San Francisco, these kind of liberal places, New York, where they allow me to do my act <clears throat> and I sell most the most tickets there. So to me, my life experience is, is that these blue states and these cities – that have my people in it are the ones that support me. I don't play red states because they hate me. I know they don't come out. They're very conservative and they don't like me. Hmm. So I'm talking through experience. Yeah, but remember conservatives. Because if, if your theory is right, I should be selling out in Arkansas. But remember, conservatism doesn't it doesn't always reflect someone's morals or what they it's conservatism is more um with money, with ha it, it doesn't have to do with someone's. Are you economically okay? Economically, small government and oh God, trickle down economics or whatever. This. I might be able to even lean toward that, okay? But because the Republicans have these stupid social issues, I cannot join them. You're still welcome in our household, though, Christy. Of course. Yeah, you are. I, I, this would get too crazy. Did yeah, we a little no. bit. I'm sorry, this is, little this is good. I got I angry. I hate talking about anything just like political because we're all at the end of the day, Bobby. You and I are number one, not informed enough, and we're pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like we can sit here and talk in circles. <laughs> We are. We're we're a part. We we're fucking retarded, sweetie. But you guys know what you're good at? Unhelpful advice. We are. We might be good at that. Go I ahead. feel like is it is it time? It's this time was a weird podcast. This good. one. I feel like we didn't we didn't. Um. Okay, but go ahead. No, no I, I, I no no. What? This is my favorite one I've done. Why? <laughs> this is really is the fi most favorite one I've done. The most Samoans we've had in a room. No, it's not that. It's just, I just <laughs> two, the whole two the whole vibe of it. <laughs> yeah. I really love the whole vibe of it. What's the vibe of it? The vibe of it is we went in and out around, and I think the reason why I'm confrontational, mm -hmm. the reason why I'm saying the things that I'm saying, is because it's been a tough couple weeks for our country yeah. in general. Mm -hmm. We had Orlando. We have this these Dallas these police Dallas these situations mm -hmm. that are happening. And it, you can see it in the it's comedy clubs. It's a little intense. In the yeah. clubs too. Yeah, and yeah, at the comedy clubs, it's fucking weird. People come out and they're angry, and there's a vibe, and it's it's seeping into this podcast. I'm to blame. I'm sorry, but I have a lot of emotions, and I just I just think that it is what it is. We did this pod this specific episode. It got a little, you know, mm -hmm. testy, testy, but it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Give me the unhelpful advice. Unhelpful advice with Bobby, Kalila, and a Samoan. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Dennis. Just uh, need your input. Been married 19 years, and my wife and I have always been interested in bringing other people into the relationship. I'm a voyeur. My wife has been with a couple women. Wait, hang on. He's a voyeur? Yeah, he says, bring okay. oh, yeah, okay. he's a voyeur. My wife has been with a couple women while we've been married, and another guy a few weeks ago for the first time. I was a little jealous about two minutes but it was more of a turn on than anything we've been having more sex ever since mm -hmm. 
We're interested in having threesomes with other guys and girls Ooh. once in a while. What do you guys think? After 19 years, you do whatever the fuck you do to keep your marriage afloat. If that's going to spark the fire in your relationship, I, I, I think that's great. I don't, I don't see anything. <laughs> I have no judgments against what people no. decide to do to keep the, the flames alive. You know, I don't. I, I think it's great. I think it, it sounds fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I hope that 19 years into a marriage, I can look at my partner in, partner in the eye and be like, let's let's shake shit up a little bit. Let's get things. You know, let's make things a little bit more exciting. Like, I don't want to. You know, 20 years with the same dick. Please give me a new one. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was waiting for that. I think the wife. She's in an <laughs> ideal situation. Nope. Yes. Yeah. Would you in uh, 20 years with your partner? I would, would you hope, watch? I would hope so. You're I would lawyer. watch. Would you watch him have sex with another woman? T. Yeah, I would. After 19 years, yes. Yeah. Why not? Because it gives you that sense, a little bit of jealousy. Really Just enough to, passion. Yeah. 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 Hulk Hogan did it. That's how he got, um, he got to bankrupt that one, um, what was it? Gawker. Gawker. Yeah. They had, they paid him that huge settlement because um, he he was fucking a friend's wife, and they got the videotape of him fucking a friend's wife. But the friend allowed it. Some people are just voyeurs. What do you think, babe? You're not into my parent. My parent. My 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 my, my dad mm -hmm. has never had sex with anybody except for my mom. Oh, and my mom too. They're the first. They met each other for forty five years, fifty years. They've been together. They probably haven't had sex in a while, and um, sex is not that important to me. Oh God, that's depressing. It's not depressing. Keep it going. is important, Keep but going. I'm Give saying me something. I know, but what I'm saying is, is that the the foundation of the relationship shouldn't be sex. Of course no, not. No one's oh, saying that. A small yeah. percentage of no it's not like my, it's not like my mom. The I love other, this. the foundation <laughs> is <laughs> trust, right? Uh -huh. Yes. And you pick somebody that you can breed with. That you know oh that God, the breeding! That sounds so just. <laughs> right, this is nah, it's still romantic. Awful. Hey, it's romantic still in some countries. Breeding, right? And you can create an empire with. Just an sow your fucking wait, wild oats. To create an empire. Em empire, with, right? I'm not interested of like tagging ants, <laughs> right? <laughs> and ripping pussy up <laughs> and shit, dog. Bow? I'm not into that, right? Oh, but I, yeah, bend over. Let me have that fucking junkity junk junk. Ew, babe. Whatever they say, the kids. Okay? I think it's what the kids exactly yeah, mine's what they like, say. Mine's like, nah, this dog. I want right. I, no, I to build a house on a foundation. <laughs> and I want to build a motherfucker empire, dog. Why are you talking like Terrence Aww. Howard? That's what I'm saying. All right? That's what I'm into. All right? And you better respect it. Ew, babe. All right, can you, you stop? You better dig it. Babe, I don't and like I, it when you talk like I'm that. I'm sorry. I love it. I'm lighting it up now, dog. <laughs> Ugh, yeah, God. because you know he's trying, but it's not coming out right. It comes out right. <laughs> you know why I know it comes out right? Yeah. Why? Because, and you know what? You make fun of me because you don't think I can go urban. Oh God, please don't! <laughs> God. Wait, what do you mean? You make fun of him? The can't... sheer fact that he said go urban, urban? Yeah. is like <laughs> highly distressing yeah, for me. Urban. Please, please, I'm yeah, gonna no, no. turn the mic off. No, no, turn no, the no, mic no, off, no, no, turn it off. Keep turn the fucking cameras on. Because right? babe, my friends from Long Beach are here. Yeah, don't yeah, yeah, embarrass yeah. me. He does this. Be, uh, yo, dog, BLM, oh, dog. You know, beyond Black Lives Matter. Oh, Let me see Why this. Why right do now. you sound like a country hick? Exactly. Yeah, you sound like yeah. a white southerner now. <laughs> Fuck you, Christine. Let us <laughs> Fuck you, Christine. You know how I know my shit's legit? Why? You know how I know, dog? How? how? <laughs> hey, dog. We're how? at that Netflix. We're at the Netflix uh, rap party for love, right? Yeah, yeah. And w uh, you, she was there. Yeah, yeah. And an executive from Netflix walked up to me and she goes, "You did a pilot. Oh. Did listen <laughs> with Kevin Brennan, Neil Brennan's brother." Toot your own brother. horn, hour. Just say Neil. And you played a hip hop star. That you, was my role. You played a hip hop star. Yeah, I was. Pl I played a guy who, you know, Kevin Brennan's brother in the show is an A&R guy, and I'm his first client. Mm. So I come over to the house, and all my dialogue is like that. I crushed it, bro. Oh, God. Wow. Hey, you're, hey, you're, the headset no, no, drop. No. Headset drop. Sit your ass down. I fucking right. crushed it, bro. <laughs> okay, is, is going urban hour over? <laughs> going, going urban with Bobby yeah. Lee. Going over with Bobby. Lord. Lee. Tap it ass, Bobby. Look at, look at, that made me so nervous. I know. Yeah, look she, at my wait, wait, she went stick model. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Like, 
She's yeah, so sweaty. Codes and, yeah. She's so sweaty there for that. There are certain things he does that make me cringe, and that home. going urban is one of them. What if he went yeah, with you? To, what if he was talking like that in Long Beach? Would it you? would make me uncomfortable. <laughs> Please do. It would make me uncomfortable because he just lives What's in that this like. Oh <laughs> God! Yeah. But he does. His going urban is what what white guys did in like the late nineties, kind of mm, going urban. Like yeah, it's yeah. not even. It just makes my armpits sweat. It distresses it's me. It's real. I went full stigmata. It's real. I went full stigmata. And it's real. And you're afraid of the realness, woman. No. There's a reason why. <laughs> the I, realness. Am I, am I not writing me a pound, bro? You That's right, dog. From the whitest guy in the room. I know. <laughs> that shit oh. just got real, cuz. Oh, oh my. Oh, I like cuz. I'll raise the roof right now. Oh, oh, God. God. Guess what? Who let the dogs out? Oh, <laughs> wait, that's bomb, man. Uh, I know you guys that's did. So embarrassing. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Who fucking out? let the dogs out, right? Oh, God. To the left, to, to the, the left. left. All that yeah. shit. All right. It's over, guys. Why? This, this, we gotta fucking... It's a great podcast. Uh, any shows for Bobby? No. I don't fucking know. No, fuck it. No shows? Ur- are you urban he's shows? He's gonna be in Sacramento uh, two weeks from now, and after that, he's gonna be at in uh, Helium in Philadelphia. No, don't kiss me right kiss, now. Kiss, kiss, no. kiss, kiss. Oh God! Yeah, <laughs> that was sick, dog. Oh Yo, God! Yo, thanks for listening to Tiger Bell. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, my pussy yeah, just dried up like the yeah, Sahara Desert. Bitch. <laughs> and um, I think Christine shit coming down here, <laughs> playing with all the uh, Lenza. Uh, for more of that urban talk, you can follow us on Instagram at Tiger Belly and on Twitter for more urban tweets at The Tiger Belly. And if you have urban questions, you can email us at The Tiger Belly yeah, at yeah, G- Oh, he's yeah. back at gmail.com. Yeah, I'm back, dog. Oh. I'm back. Hey, man, can you tell us about your shows coming up? Yeah, dang. <laughs> Shit, dang. Uh, been in Sacramento. Dang. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be on. I can't even understand yeah, you yeah. anymore. I know, no. <laughs> You're just like vowels. O-E-I-O-U. Longton, Virginia, she. Kalila's dying right now. Yeah, she's yeah, so man. embarrassed. Yeah, wow. So embarrassed. I've never yeah. seen you so embarrassed before. Yeah, yeah, man. You get to have sex with this heart. afterwards. In yeah, oh, my God. heart. Philando Castile is yeah. my heart, man. How would you feel if Bobby did a role play like that? It. I would not let him enter me. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. Oh, okay. I will recover one way or the other. I'll have a cigarette. Hey, guys, uh, also we have our stickers have been mailed out. Most of them, not international yet. Yeah. Uh, we're working on that, but uh, stickers should be coming within the next two weeks or yeah. wherever U.S. Postal wants to do that. Uh, if you haven't listened to our Tiger Belly uh, mixtape yet, if you want to share that with your friends who have never heard of Tiger Belly, you can go to Bandcamp and search The Tiger Belly. Uh, do you have social media we can follow you on, Christine? Possibly. Are you are it, are you, you open to, to it? You don't have to. Oh. You don't have to plug anything. You're here as a friend. So. Yeah, I yeah. am anti-social media. Yeah, social Just security. So, <laughs> yeah, don't got one of those either. Dang, <laughs> she win. <laughs> Illegal. Damn, America. girl, you just. <laughs> 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 it was so stupid. It was like ten minutes of urban. Urban in quotation. Yeah, like my 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 jaws get stiff. Yeah, you're really nervous, dude. Right? She's so uncomfortable. It's hilarious. Uh, you can follow Kalila on all social media or at, don't or don't at Calamity K. Uh, you can follow Christine at Gilbits and also follow George at George Kimmel or at Voted Best Tweets and Russell, our other cameraman. What is your Twitter or? Well, he doesn't have anything. He produces reality TV shows. He's too cool. Russell's too cool for all of us. <laughs> all right, guys, that's our show. Thank you guys for listening. Bye. And we will see you next week. Thank you, Christine, for coming on. Ciao, everybody. Vietnam, yo. Samoa. Kalau dapat